Hey everybody, Dan Anderson here with Kingdom Way Ministries with today's Monday Mission Post to incite and outfit your kingdom leadership. As I shared last week, I've been jazzed about uh, some principles in Nehemiah that I've been rediscovering, I've been talking about with some different people that I am privileged to coach and people in groups. And so uh, today I'd like to ask you this question, how do you cast a vision and then get people to own it and follow it? And Nehemiah gives us some incredible insights. In chapter 2, if you'll read it, God called him to go to Jerusalem to rebuild the walls. He takes a survey of all the damage and what needs to be done about three days on horseback and on foot. And then, get this, I mean, you, you've experienced this going into a new company, a new church, going into a new profit organization, a new setting where you, no one knows you. They don't trust you. They don't... Uh, you don't have any leadership cred built yet. How in the world do you get people to buy into a vision and follow you to do something like rebuild the wall in 52 days? Uh, I love Nehemiah. Well, first of all, he had God's favor for sure. And we can pray about that every single day. But here's something else he had. He had a great ability to cast a vision. When he uh, pulled all the elders of Israel together, he said, these walls been laid in ruins for almost a hundred years and he pointed to the fact that there that was bringing reproach upon them as a nation and diminishing their testimony before God see there's two ways that we really can get people to buy into to a vision some is by casting a preferred picture so that's the P first P word a picture of the future uh, that would be so compelling, it would draw people to follow it. says, yeah, I want that. I'm going to follow that. Or the other one is to draw attention to the pain of the current reality. In other words, spelling out why we can't stay here and we got to go there. And that's exactly what Nehemiah chose. He chose to spell out the pain points of what this was costing them and said, we can't stay here, we gotta go forward. And they bought into it. And of course, he shared God's incredible story of uh, how he was led to that, which definitely helps. Um, so, so here's my question. Wherever you are, wherever your team is at that you're leading, what is it costing you to stay where you are? What is it costing you? What is it costing everyone else that you lead? Number two, what is the future gonna look like if you don't change? Sometimes we got to wrestle with this and grasp the fullness of the pain and the frustration we're in and get to that place and lead those that we're uh, privileged to influence to get to the place where, yeah, we can't stay here. More than ever, we gotta be constantly changing. Uh, so ask that question, what's it costing you to stay where you are? What's gonna be the cost if you don't move forward and help others to see your vision and follow it? Uh, I'd love to hear your comments below. What, what, what did this provoke in your thinking? Are you gonna ask this question of yourself? Are you gonna ask it of others? Follow the example of Nehemiah and understand and ca uh, people's pain points and cast a vision to, to uh, why you have to change. I hope this is encouraging to you. And uh, just wanna remind you, don't forget to seek to make them famous as you make your work and your ministry one. If there's a way we can serve you, don't hesitate to reach out. We'd love to. Uh, have a great week. Love you and appreciate all of you. Lord bless.